Hey everybody, I really love my new Ford Ranger, but Ford left off a feature on this truck that I really feel like they should have included. You see, when you open the tailgate, it just slams open. There's no damper or soft open system on this tailgate at all. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to install your own damper so that your tailgate opens like this instead. Now this is the kit that I'm gonna be installing today. It's from a company named DZ, and Ford also offers a kit to do this, but it's actually this exact product. It actually comes in this same packaging, has all the same labeling on this side. The difference if you order from Ford is that there's a big sticker back here that's got all the Ford labeling on it. But if you order it from Ford, you'll wanna use this part number off the Ford website, and you can expect to pay this much, or at least that's what it was going for at the time of filming this video. If instead you wanna order it directly from DZ, you'll wanna order this part number right here, and you can expect to pay this much, or at least that's what I paid for it. Here's everything that comes in the kit. The damper, two brackets, and two bolts with Loctite pre-installed. There's only three tools you need for this installation. The first is a flathead screwdriver, Next is an M6 Allen wrench, like this, and a T50 Torx driver. Now these are a little bit less common than the other tools, so I'm gonna leave a link to this one in the description below in case you need to order one yourself. So here we are over on the driver's side, and it's important to note that this kit can only be installed on the driver's side. You cannot put it on the passenger side. The first step is to remove this bolt right here from the tailgate. Then next you'll take this mounting plate and the damper itself and you'll attach this end of the damper right onto the post on this mounting plate. And it just clicks on with some pressure with your thumb, pretty easy. Next, using one of the bolts supplied with the kit, we're going to install that bracket into the hole that you just removed the bolt from the factory from. You don't want to tighten this all the way at this point, you just want to get it pretty well started into that hole. This still needs to move around a little. Next, we remove this bolt. And then using the other bolt supplied in the kit, we will replace the bolt we just removed. And at this point, you can fully tighten these bolts. <clears throat> Next, we need to remove the supporting cable for the tailgate, but it's got this bracket on here it's a little tricky to remove, so this is the fastest and easiest way to do it. Get your flathead screwdriver, open up the tailgate just a little bit and support it with your leg. Then put your screwdriver in and open that clip so that it's out of the way, and then slide the cable up and pull it right off of the support like that. Next, using our T50 again, we're gonna remove this cable bolt. Then we place the other mounting bracket from the kit right over the hole. We just remove that bolt from and put the bolt right back in. Now as you get close to getting this tight, you want to make sure that this bracket is lined up basically straight up and down. <coughs> then we'll reinstall our support cable back onto that post. And then the final step is to pull up on the damper until it slowly comes up to be even with that post, and then clip it right on, just like that. And that's really all there is to this install. Let's uh, give it a try and see how well it works. Oh, it's butter smooth, I love it. This is probably the easiest, least expensive, best bang for the buck upgrades you can do to one of these Rangers. I really, really am happy with how this turned out. Hey, if you've enjoyed this video, you can let me know about that by hitting the thumbs up button down below. If you like to see more videos like this, you can subscribe, but of course there's no pressure there. And as always, thank you very much for watching. It never gets old. <laughs>